Hi, we're Team GoPro Group Number Four. Um, we're for Stephen Size Policies Class Four Eighty One. I'm Addison. I'm Katie. I'm Dustin. I'm Kelby. And here we go. <laughs> founder of GoPro. How's it going, Nick? Good. How you doing? Good. Can you just tell me a little bit about your company? Yeah. Um, I was going to Australia for a surfing competition, and amateur photographers couldn't come up with a up-close camera, so I decided to create this action camera, and it's grew since then. All right. How many employees do you have? Uh, currently, we're a little over 500, which is a lot compared to what we started with in 2002. Yeah, sure. So Nick here brought an uh, actual GoPro here to show us today. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, this is a Hero Edition. This is one of the first, which was like released in 2004, I believe is our first sale. Um, since then, it's advanced greatly. We have WIFI hand controls and bigger screens and all kinds of stuff that can send it right to your phone. And that's just an example. Well, thank um, you. Yeah. I'm going to turn it over to Katie, our product specialist, and she can answer further questions on products and services. Okay, thank you. We're here with Katie, product specialist for GoPro. Um, can you just tell us a little bit more about your different cameras and some of the different accessories you have? Yes, I can. Um, there are five major all-season sports action cameras, uh, Digital Hero, Hero 3, Hero 5, Digital Wide, and Hero 960. We also have mounts which include chest harnesses, flex clamps, front helmet mount, wrist straps, surf mounts, and even dog harnesses. We also have other accessories. Here's an example of our waterproof impact resistance case. There are other, also other protective cases and auto chargers. We also have software apps that allow you to edit and upload your videos to our YouTube channel for the world to see. And also, we have WIFI remote. <laughs> oh, very good. Who are your main competitors? Some of our main competitors include Sony, Icon, Canon, and Apple is a big emerging one with their um, iPhones. We currently have a majority of the market share um, with GoPro accounting for about 47% of the action sports camera market. Second place is about 12%, so they're way behind us. And third place is even lower, so we have a large portion of the share. What has allowed your company to be the leader in the market? Um, one of the ways that we have created this large lead in the market share is our product differentiation. Um, GoPro offers a high quality product that is very reliable. As you can see right here, this GoPro has made too many rough falls and it still works. Um, our cameras are priced higher than our competitors, but we have much higher quality. So um, we have recently released some cameras at a lower price to compete with other cheaper products and this will help us um, gain a larger percentage of the market share. Very good.
For our business level strategy, we used integrated cost leadership and differentiation strategy, which its main points are flexible manufacturing, systems information, networks, and total quality management systems. The flexible manufacturing systems try to help keep cost and manufacturing low and all allows for quick change over for all the different models, versions of GoPro currently offered, such as the Hero 3 Plus Black, Hero 3 Plus White, Hero 4, Hero 4 Session. The information network systems enables a company to co-coordinate interdependencies between internally and externally performed value, creating activities to increase flexibility and responsiveness. The total quality management system helps increase customer satisfaction, which is important to GoPro. It allows the firm to become more flexible and makes products so that quality is better than the customer expectations. It also reduces time to market to so keep up with technology and change, and they won't waste their time developing something that won't go to the market before it becomes old. Some of the risk of using the leadership method is it is hard to make a product differentiatable but also cheaper. You do not want to become stuck in the middle which is not cheap enough for price to attract customers but also not different enough for customers to pay a high price. Why did we choose a strategy? Well, it helps differentiate themselves from all their competition such as Nikon, Sony, Apple, Canon, as well as others. It allows them to keep low cost options, different models for the different users, but not range over $399 and still have a competitive price. It also lets them continue to improve technology quickly and retain their large share of the market. Not really stuck in the middle, they have the different price options to continue to improve and keep a competitive advantage and differentiate their product. GoPro also integrates a corporate level strategy. It is a low level of single business diversification. They generate about 95% or more revenue from its core business area with its cameras. GoPro has competitive rivalry. The action sports camera market is an up-and-coming industry and is on the rise. There are many new competitors that are starting to sell the same or similar cameras such as Canon, Polaroid, Sony, and Ion. GoPro's customer loyalty will help them stay on top of the market share, however. GoPro has a high competition among suppliers. They also um, have a bargaining power of customers. Customers have pretty limited choices as far as only action cameras offered by GoPro, but they have many different cameras with different features and different accessories, which keeps customers coming back. GoPro has a pretty low dependency on dist distributors. They have started to use the O2O -O model, which is online to offline, to allow customers to easily buy their products online. Along with the B2C model, which is the business to customer model, this allows the business to directly sell to and communicate with customers and cut out the middleman. GoPro has a pretty good website that is easy for customers to buy products from. They also have um, created a YouTube channel to allow customers to post and share their videos with everyone. The threat of entrance is pretty moderate. Other brands have lower quality and ability than GoPro. GoPro already has a large portion of the industry and are continuing to introduce new features and technologies to allow them to stay the leader in the industry. However, there are many substitute products. There are many different brands and competitors that are making similar cameras and trying to replicate the features that GoPro has offered. There are also other products that are being used as action cameras, such as the Apple iPhone, the iPhone now has many different cases and mounts that allow it to be turned into an action camera. Um, this could hurt the GoPro industry and brand because it allows people not to have to buy a new GoPro, but instead just use their current iPhone that they already own.
As you may have heard about in the news, GoPro has experienced some hard times recently. Over the past eight months, GoPro's stock has fallen from around $65 per share all the way down to around $12 to $13 per share. To fix this, they are planning a couple of new things. So you may ask, what is next for GoPro? They are just an action camera. Um, GoPro has announced that they are going to release the GoPro 5. Um, some of the new features will be 8K resolution camera and it can survive up to 60 meters in water. They also have released, um, or are going to release, the Karma drone. It's an action drone and they have reported that it will be released in the second half of 2016. Another big key to their um, turnaround is the acquisition of Danny Coaster, who was an important member of Apple's design team. Um, he is part of their design team now, and they think that this will help them come up with better ideas. Um, they believe these will help improve sales and rise their falling revenue. The five key success factors are people, purpose, processes, physical resource, and customers. The first one is people and they are those who make up the organization. It includes great work environment. All of the employees love working at GoPro. The employees get paid well. A software engineer gets paid 103000 while an intern gets paid 2680 per hour. Employees get product for free. They also are treated well with yearly bonuses and health benefits. Training is also provided to help develop employees' skills and knowledge. Next is purpose. GoPro wants to create experiences to inspire people around the world. They also think it is important to share special moments together and remember them. GoPro wants to encourage people to experience what there is to see in the world. The whole GoPro environment encourages people to follow their dreams. Third key factor is processes. GoPro employees have built-in recess every Thursday to encourage work-life balance, which encourages harder work and less mistakes daily. Having effective operations ensures that customers get exactly what they want and even at the right time, right price, and right quality. GoPro ships its products to over 200 countries worldwide. The standard shipping allows the product to ship from the west coast to the east coast with only in five days. The next one is physical resources. GoPro finds that the three most important resources are financial, facilities, and the equipment. GoPro has important investors who are financially stable. The first three quarters of 2015, GoPro profited $70.6 million. GoPro has a massive warehouse location capable of storing a large amount of its products. They work with a lot of efficient and quick suppliers like Umbrella Inc., who manufacture semiconductors for GoPro action cameras. The last key factor is their customers. GoPro has one of the most loyal customer group. All the customers know that GoPro is a durable and high quality product. They all trust the brand to be superior product over its competitors. Their customer service is efficient, helpful, and resolves most customer issues quickly and hassle-free. Customers also speak highly of the brand to others. Customers' opinions is very important to GoPro and they heavily rely on satisfaction of their products. Hi, I'm here with Addison. He's the Vice President of GoPro. I have a few questions for you. Sure. What are your strengths? Um, we actually have a lot of strength at GoPro. Um, for obvious reasons, we, we are the uh, leader in the market, uh, but actually quite a lot compared to the second place. Um, we have 47% of the market share compared to the second place, which only has 12%. Um, we have a really, really good reputation on our product since it's a really high quality product. And um, it's very durable compared to the uh, competitors' products. A lot of customers uh, trust our brand. Uh, compared to like the Sony's and all the other uh, action cameras that we have. Um, we also have a wide range of users. Um, it's not just the action sports, it's actually a lot of people that use the product um, for all kinds of purposes. It doesn't have to be the extreme sportsman that's like out uh, doing flips on like um, skis and all that kind of stuff. And um, it's also a lot of younger kids that use it um, that opens a whole another market for that. And there's also a lot of different mounts for, for different users. So like I said, it doesn't have to be like an action sport. A lot of people use it on cars. 
um, to show off their cars and like drag racing and all that kind of stuff. And then another great strength that we have is that we're um, actually in like a lot of different markets compared to like the global aspect. Um, our product's actually sold in about uh, 50 or more uh, different countries now. So that's definitely helping our reputation a lot too. Okay. Um, how about it weaknesses? Do you have some of those also? Um, every company is going to have some sort of weakness. Um, some of ours do kind of uh, involve with our financials. Um, we do have a lot of costs uh, in our uh, research and development because we try to get a really good product. So it's obviously going to cost a little more than um, just developing a camera. So that's where we spend a lot of our money in. Um, which in retrospect uh, decreases profits for our investors. Um, they kind of obviously, if you're an investor in a company, you try to have a really good um, like net profit and like ratio between your, your costs and your revenue that so they make money as well. Um, what another another great um, weakness in our financial aspect is that we have lower ROEs and ROAs, which is return on equity and return on um, assets. And also uh, compared to the competitors, um, we're kind of falling behind the kind of, uh, the kind of financial aspect. Um, another thing that really affects us is that our um, our cycle throughout the year is more based on um, seasons. We have a spike in the summer when it gets nice out, and people like use it outside for surfing, for any outdoor activity. Then it kind of dies in the fall because it kind of gets uh, kind of uh, cold out and. But as it gets colder during the winter sports, it, come, it has another spike. Because like you a lot of see in our, um, in our commercials, we have a lot of product that revolves around act, like sports enthusiasts that use it for skiing, for snowboarding. Uh, I even saw a couple on like a snowmobile like that use it on that. Um, it's, uh, another couple of ones are um, that we rely heavily on one product line. We just have the action sports camera. There's no other aspect in that kind of... Um, we don't have something else to fall back on if that does fall or uh, fail. Um, which, like, compared to our competitors, like Sony and all them, they actually have a lot of other stuff like TVs and consoles to fall back on if they're actually support, like, if that market were to fall behind. And then another thing, we're pretty, pretty, compared to the competitors that have been around, we're kind of a new company, so we have a lack of experience in the market. Um, although we are killing it in the market as of right now, um, the other guys have more experience since they've been in the market a little longer than us. Interesting, interesting. How about some of your opportunities? We actually have a lot of opportunity in the market as well. Um, we have new services, um, innovations, and new products entering the market. Um, another great aspect of that is we're really popular in the social media kind of aspect of the company. We share so many videos on, on our uh, website alone, and then all the users that buy the cameras, they they share everything. They From, like I said, the winter sports to to go into the beach and like surfing, everything is captured and they share it because they want to share it with their families. Um, social media is another good aspect because we can advertise our brand to everybody. Um, and there's a lot of, like I said, uh, promotional opportunities. Um, we decided to go to the, into the initial public op, uh, offering a couple of years back and which helped us a lot because we got a lot more financials going through that. I mean, if we focus more on that, we can definitely grow our company in terms of um, uh, retrieving more money for, uh, to, for our research and development, for example, and the stock options definitely help us with that. Um, any opportunity that will create brand awareness will generate more revenue for the company, and while also gaining um, a broader uh, customer base. How about some of your threats? Um, yeah, like um, threats are actually a big component to our company because they can kind of kill us if we don't take them honestly and, and direct. Um, a lot of them are the competition, um, offering similar products at lower cost. So our products are obviously a little, little more premium compared to like our competitors' pr uh, products because we want our customers to have a really stable and reliable product. That's why it's a little more expensive, but that can kind of hurt us in the, in the, in the long run too because um, some people don't want to spend that kind of money on it. Um, some of the competitors are like what, Sony, Garmin, HTC, and Polaroid that all offer a little cheaper, but obviously also cheaper made product. Um, some others are future comp uh, comp competitors, sorry. And that are like Apple and like Samsung, even Google, that are all big companies that can have, have no problem entering that market with this, like that kind of product, which can definitely hurt us in the long run because they're a lot more well-known. They have a lot bigger market share than we do, just in general. Um, another third is substitutions, which 
can be a threat and cannot be a threat um, because substitutions as like a, like a, a phone or like tablets, but they're not going to be as durable as like an action action sport camera. But if they decide to make cases or something for them that makes them durable, that can definitely be a threat for us. Um, another threat would be that GoPro uses uh, YouTube and Facebook and Vimeo etc. for the video um, for the media uh, underdeveloped in the marketing and uh, their media. And um, the last threat I would think of. Um, would be uh, future costs of production of materials, with, which if, if, if our suppliers run out and they increase the prices, um, we're not going to be able to sell them at the, at the price that we sell now, which a lot of people perceive as a lot more than, than they should be. So if that our, our um, future costs go up, we won't be able to be competitive in that, in that sense anymore. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Thank you. Wow. GoPro is incredible. Hi, I'm here with Addison. Vice President of GoPro is going to tell us about the vision and mission statement. All right, our vision and mission statement is actually pretty short. Uh, our vision statement is literally just think it, see it, do it. Um, when it comes to the mission part, um, GoPro helps people capture and share their lives, uh, most meaningful experiences with others, um, to cel celebrate them together. Um, like a, how a day on the mountain with friends is more meaningful than one spent alone. Uh, the sharing of our collective experiences uh, makes our lives um, more fun. Uh, the world's most versatile cameras uh, are what we make, and uh, enabling you to share your life through incredible photos and videos is what we do. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Addison. I'm actually going to talk to uh, Kelby. He's going to talk to us about uh, GoPro's recommendation for the future. Go yeah. Ahead. So we have three recommendations we've come up with for GoPro. The first one become more diversified. Um, they currently re really only have one camera, and um, that's what most revenue comes from. So if the action sports camera market falls, um, they will fall with it. So most other competitors have different. Uh, something to fall back on um, if the market falls. The second recommendation we have is to continue to be innovative. Um, make sure they have people doing something every single day to differentiate their products from their competitors. Um, they've recently released 360 degree video, so expand on that concept and release it soon. And their technology from the past versions really hasn't changed GoPro 4. Um, didn't really add a lot of new things, but the price went up. <laughs> so they should continue to improve how it takes to get new My market, God. new technology to market. So they continue to be the leader of the market share. And our third recommendation <laughs> would be make affiliations with different companies. Maybe they could um, team up with companies like Red Bull or NASCAR. They re recently teamed up with the X Games, so they could. We think they should continue um, doing this. They could also use some celebrities like Tony Hawk or other action sports people and to have approved their products. Um, this might get more people to buy them. And along with that, they can make like a special edition camera maybe for the X Games, the Winter X Games. It's different from their camera, maybe different colors and have a limited release so people would want to buy it. So those are what we think um, could really help GoPro in the future. It's good to know that they should definitely take that into consideration with the, with the future advancements. Yes. came back for my big win, Drag Race Champion. I'd like to thank GoPro for keeping, keeping all my, my visuals in check. Got good action shots, good, good video. Also like to thank Steven Sai, he taught me everything I know.